PhoneDog.com, and you know, after months and months of waiting and teasing, Windows Phone 7 is finally here. It's available in several different form factors, several different sizes, several different carriers, one of which is the HTC HD7 with T-Mobile. It's available for $199.99 if you can find it. So let's take a look at the uh, Internet Explorer web browser. And as I said in the surround review, I know I keep kind of referencing back to that, but you know, it's Windows Phone 7, so it's obviously a, a very similar, but cooler because it's on a 4.3 inch display. I've been very pleased with the uh, web browser, you know, minus the fact that it's missing Flash. It's uh, one of the best web browsing experiences I've, uh, I've ever seen. So fantastic on that front. Instead of going to ESPN, I'll go to Phone Dog. Because phones are cooler than sports, yeah. Uh, let's jump into this. And you can see the Flash stuff on the top of the site. Uh, some of our advertisements aren't showing up. But, I mean, just exceptionally fast, incredibly fluid, and, like, it's freakishly fast. Like, if you look at the pinch to zoom, like, I'm amazed. And, you know, I, so I showed this off uh, in the, pat the last Windows Phone 7 review that I did. But it uh, is freakishly fast. And then, of course, your uh, transitions to landscape mode are uh, very fluid with no lag whatsoever. Now, you know, double tap to get to a particular spot on the screen. Otherwise, you can pinch to zoom. I just can't get over how fast that is. And uh, while it was cool on the surround and some of the other Windows Phone devices, it's even better on the HD7 because of the 4.3 inch display. Now, on the bottom, you have the option to add this page to your favorites, to view your favorites, or to open a new tab in addition to the typical settings here. So let's open a new tab and uh, go to, eh, let's go to ESPN. I changed my mind. And we'll go to that. But again, I just can't get over, you know, as much as I love Android and as much as I love multitasking, and I'm singling Android out here, but it happens to a lot of the devices. The pinch to zoom isn't always the most responsive. You know, every now and again, it'll, it'll work perfectly fine. But then on, on occasions, it will uh, stutter and kind of lag. But I haven't had any of that with this device. I mean, it's, you know, freakishly quick. So very cool on that front. Okay, here's ESPN. You see some of the, uh, the non-flash material on the display but uh, great web browsing experience you know if you uh, if you need flash this isn't the operating system for you right now at least but uh, if you don't need flash or you're okay with uh, with skipping out on it for now it uh, in my opinion rivals iOS for uh, the best browsing experience on the market right now so that's kinda cool on that topic of uh, comparing it to iOS let's have a look at the uh, marketplace and you'll see you know uh, as of right now, if I remember from this morning, they just crossed 2,000 apps in the marketplace. So it's nowhere near the Android market with 100,000 or uh, the App Store with 300,000 apps. But uh, definitely gaining quickly. And, you know, for me at least, I noticed that most of the crucial apps I use are already in here. Like, you know, BBC News and the Weather Channel and Point and uh, some of the other apps that I'm, I'm used to from other platforms are already here. Now, one of my biggest frustrations... As of, as of right now, you know, you go to the search button to search the marketplace. So let's search for point, for example. And uh, you'll notice it doesn't separate music from, uh, from apps. So you're sitting here with a you know, long list of stuff that he, uh, has point in it. So you type in Twitter and you see every single song that has Twitter in the title or is related to Twitter. And then way down here, you happen to see the application. So in that case, it worked out well because it was on the first page. But there have been several apps I've looked at where it's way down at the bottom and uh, the songs are up top. So kind of frustrating that you can't separate music from, uh, from apps, at least right now. So here's Point, and uh, you can see what the, uh, what the apps, kind of like what the setup looks like here. And we'll go ahead and install that to give you an idea. Yeah, we'll take that. And so it's downloading. Once you buy it, you can see, or once you download it, you can see the progress. It's already downloaded. So let's jump into the menu. And, uh, and have a look at point. Now, I won't spend too much time in this. I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like. Yeah. So you can see, you know, very speedy, no lag, typical point application, and it works well. I've noticed all of these apps are really optimized for, uh, for Windows Phone 7. So it takes advantage of the large fonts, and, uh, you know, overall I've been pleased with the marketplace. I just wish there was a better option to search between apps and uh, search between music. Now, on that note, you know, this is a, uh, this original Metro UI originated from the Zune, you know, the, some of the recent Zune devices, and you can see, you know, it's almost like having Zune, a, a Zune in your HD7 device. So, here's your music menu. You can see music videos, podcast, radio, marketplace, your marquee, and like the rest of the apps, very easy, no lag, 
easy to scroll through and find what you're looking for. And I don't have any music installed. Let's see if there's any sample clips. No sample clips, but you get an idea of the uh, of the layout of Zoom. So pretty cool there. And uh, Slacker Radio, of course, is installed. So if you're not getting your fix from Zoom, you have Slacker Radio. Now Xbox Mobile or Xbox Live, rather. It's pre-installed on all the Windows Phone 7 devices. And you can see what that looks like. You can, uh, again, large fonts, Spotlight, Xbox Live. That's me, player 102370175. Yeah, that's me. Personalize my avatar if I so desire. And then my requests for, uh, for game invites. So that's on the device. Now, you know, that said, one thing I've noticed about Windows Phone 7, the battery life is not great. Uh, I struggled on a regular basis to make it through a day of use. So, you know, if you're playing Xbox for more than about five minutes, you're, uh, you're going to notice a pretty significant decline in battery life. So make sure you're beside, a, uh, beside an outlet before, uh, before you use Xbox. Overall, call quality has been very good. I've been pleased. You know, like I said before, it's an HSPA device. So a little frustrated. You know, points off to T-Mobile, to Microsoft, and to uh, HTC for not making this an HSPA Plus device. You know, I don't know much about cars, but... It's kind of like putting a uh, putting a V, I mean a uh, inline four. I almost just said V four, and like all the car addicts would be like, "We're never watching your videos again." Inline four in a uh, in a high end sports car it just doesn't do it justice. You know, it's a high end device on every front except for net network connectivity. So, at least on the network front, you know the G two and the uh, MyTouch four G are theoretically going to be faster. Now, Quadrant Standard, to my knowledge, and uh, definitely Speed Test aren't available in the Windows uh, marketplace right now, so I couldn't do any testing like that for you for the review, but as soon as those uh, are available, I will uh, do my best to jump back on camera, maybe in a future dogfight, and uh, compare those speeds. So otherwise, you know, been been uh, impressed with the reception, and the uh, earpiece is sufficiently loud. Let's have a listen to the speaker. You know, this does have surround speakers on the bottom and on the top. And uh, let's see here. Dial 611, for example. Give you an idea of what the uh, call interface looks like here. And throw it on speaker. And you can see I've been uh, pretty, pretty impressed with it. Blah, blah, blah. So you get an idea. The speakerphone, uh, speakerphone's decent there. The one thing I haven't been impressed with is the camera. It's 5 megapixels, as I said before. Dual LED flash but just have not been impressed. Like the picture quality for me at least, uh, and every picture I've taken, very blurry, uh, not the best in the world. And compare it to other five megapixel options on the market like the iPhone 4, uh, some of the other HTC devices, it's just not a great camera. And we'll take a, uh, for example, we'll have a look here at the uh, Optimus S and we'll do a quick test shot. And you'll see, you may, or hopefully you'll see through the camera, that may not do it justice, but yeah, we'll do that. Here's what the camera uh, interface looks like, and there is the uh, the Optimus S. Camera buttons on the side, half press to autofocus, full press to take the picture, and then when you want to scroll through your pictures, oh, you can scroll up like that. This auto, no, I don't want to upload my pictures. Okay, so there's a picture I just took. You want to jump back to the camera, just scroll up. We'll take another picture. Let's take an up close shot. Of the uh, the Optimus S, and that picture came out relatively decent, just because I have several lights shining down right now to film this video. Uh, so that's that's not too bad. Any low lit situation, any area where I wasn't outside, I found the pictures to be blurry, kind of washed out in terms of color. So not the best camera. If you're looking for a device, and you know your camera is the priority, the HD7 is probably not going to do it for you. So on that front, at least, not the greatest. 720p video recording. Uh, again, relatively mediocre, not bad, but it's not going to replace your HD camera. Uh, so obviously I can't shoot phone videos on the HD7. One thing I particularly liked about the uh, Windows Phone 7, uh, which, you know, of course is uh, on the HD7 as well, uh, the messaging, little things like uh, how the numbers would appear beside Hotmail or beside my email account when I had a message, voicemail under the telephone icon when I have vo voicemail, and then the little messaging face changes when you have more than... Uh, about five messages, four or five messages, it changes faces. Kind of cool there. Nice little personalization touches on that front. But let's have a look at the calendar. And uh, one interesting thing, actually I'm going to jump back first before I do that. One interesting thing, you'll notice that you know some of these icons are squared. 
Other uh, icons are rectangle. There's no way to change that right now. You know, it's all dependent on the actual program uh, on the back end. So there's no way to say, hey, I want my Internet Explorer icon to be a rectangle or I want my messaging icon to be a rectangle so I can see all the messages I have coming in. It's all dependent on Windows Phone 7. So may, again, maybe in Windows Phone 7 and a half or uh, <laughs> Windows Phone 8, you might see that, but we'll see. Here's your calendar. Very, uh, very simple, very easy to use. Your day pops up, and then at the bottom you'll notice the day icon, add an appointment, and then you can go to month view by clicking the icon down there. Now, if you're like me, I prefer the agenda view. All you have to do is scroll over, and you can see all of your appointments within the, uh, within the time, short time frame. So let's have a look here at the uh, just the day, for example, and let's set an appointment for 4 o'clock. And uh, hang with Aaron. I'm going to hang with myself. That'd be fun. November 9th, 4 o'clock p.m. And let's say, you know, you want to customize the time. You can do that. If you want it to be from 4.09 to, uh, you can make it an hour, or you can go to more details and uh, set a reminder how long you want it to be and your status as well. So change how long it is by going to, or not all day, change how long it is by going to uh, custom. And you'll see you can change the times from there. So it's in all day mode right now. So remove that. You can see 409 to 509 by default, one hour. You can change it to 516. And so you can see 409 to 515. I actually hit 15 by accident. Hang with Aaron pops up on the calendar. Then you scroll over to the agenda and you can see how long it is, what calendar it's on, and what time the appointment starts. So go back here and you can see because it's a rectangular icon, hang with Aaron pops up from 4.09 to 5.15 on the front of the display. So cool touch there, and then of course my reminder will pop up on the screen. Now on the topic of reminders, very minimalistic on top. When you get a uh, text message, pops up in a, uh, a little rectangular bar on the top. So very cool on that front. Nice to see uh, you know non-obtrusive, hey, you have a new message that pops up right in the center of the display like uh, some operating systems. But I'm not naming names, you know. It's uh, their pros and cons to all operating systems. Much more coverage to come on the HD7 with uh, T-Mobile on PhoneDog.com. Very cool device. Definitely going to have some dog fights in the future between it, the MyTouch 4G, the uh, T-Mobile G2, and some additional devices on different carriers. So dog fights on the way uh, for the HTC HD7. In the meantime, be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Hey, we're giving away 100 iPads you should enter to win. Like us on Facebook, follow the instructions to get your entry in, and who knows, you can win an iPad or even a trip to the Super Bowl in uh, 2011. Very cool on that front, and be sure to follow me on Twitter, phone dog underscore Aaron. Hit me up with any questions you have about these devices, or just to say hello. Hey, I'm a nice guy, and I love to say hello to people, so hit me up on uh, Twitter. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.